procrastinators! This week, the UK House of Lords, which is a political Monty Python sketch gone horribly awry, published a report that said the following. The government must act immediately to bring loot boxes within the remit of gambling legislation and regulation. Yeah, loot boxes are gambling, surprise! And those Time Lords are gunning for them. I say, go for it! Loot boxes are a scourge on this industry, and the faster we put them against the wall and unload around into them, the better. Unfortunately, games publishers are like the Borg, and before loot boxes go away, they come up with another way to fucking nickel and dime you, the adapting cunts. Anyway, completely coincidentally this week, 2K have announced that the next-gen versions of their shit games will be more expensive. That's £10 or $10 more expensive to be exact, bringing the current price of NBA 2K21 for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X up to a bottom clenching $64.99 or $70. And a quick side note on that, $70 is about £55, so thanks for the shit currency conversion there. 2K. But anyway, NBA 2K21 with its loot boxes and its slot machines and its microtransactions and its history of making loading times longer so it could put a fucking TV advert on them, that game is going to cost more money. Out of all of the games, that's the one that decided first it would cost more. The one with the men and the ball. Talking to Ars Technica, a corporate shill for 2K Jizzed, we believe our suggested retail price for NBA 2K21 on next generation platforms fairly represents the value of what's being offered. Power, speed and technology that is only possible on new hardware. They're not bothering to port the uh, next gen version to PC, just the old gen one. It's £15 cheaper, the PC version, because they're actually not... You know PC, the place where we already have the power and the speed and the technology. They're not bothering. They're not bo anyway, the monster went on to say, with nearly endless replay value and many new additions and improvements only possible on next generation consoles, we believe our updated suggested retail price fairly represents the value of NBA 2K21. <sighs> nearly endless replay value, NBA 2K18 servers were shut down six months ago. I've seen mayflies with a longer life cycle than that. And on the note of retail price fairly represent blah, 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 let's not forget that this is the company that produced the literally unplayable WWE 2K18 on the Switch and it is still 40 fucking pounds despite, again, it is completely unplayable. It's un it's fully unplayable and they're like, that 40 quid, isn't it? For, for... Is there any possible way that you can have endless replay value if you don't have the initial play value? Fuck off, 2K. Fuck off right into a bin. <laughs> okay, next up, Gorilla have shown off footage of the PC port of Horizon Zero Dawn, and god damn, it looks like they've put some love in. Lots of graphical settings, including a field of view slider, <gasps> graphical updates, unlock frame rates, and a benchmarking tool. That's how you port a current gen game. It's also out on the 7th of August and will cost £33 on Steam. And that includes the expansion and the DLC stuff too. For a second then, I forgot what it was like to see a game that was made by people who actually want to make them. Hmm. You know, if Red Dead Redemption 2 wasn't realistic enough for you, then could I point you in the direction of that there Cowboy Life Simulator, whose first trailer dropped this week? It's still probably about a billion years away, I'd say, but if you want to herd cattle, go mining, and die of a curable disease and having worms eat you at the age of about 14, this could be the game for you. And speaking of worms, 10 out of 10 segue, Worms Rumble has been announced. Yes! It's a Worms Battle Royale game, throwing away the turn-based combat and making it, you know, Lyro-esque. Lyria, that game I never know how to pronounce the fucking name of, with the Worms and the MS-DOS. But this one doesn't have the destructible terrain by the look of it, nor the endless missile barrages of Doom, or the endless grenades of Doom, or that one sniper rifle that shot you against the wall and made you explode into muck. Fuck, I missed that game. Anyway, Worms Rumble is out later this year with a beta test later this month, and I'll probably give it a go. But it's not going to be better than my Worms Battle Royale idea. Listen to this, right? Turn-based, 
a hundred worms, the water rises each turn. Everyone does their move, but nothing happens. Nothing. You do your move, but nothing happens. It doesn't actually fire. You don't actually move. Wait 20, 30 seconds, and then every move of all 100 worms activates at the same time. But calm set up for 20 or 30 seconds, followed by absolute fucking mayhem. Team 17, call me. Call me. Anyway, live stream tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be doing a big stream again as I survived the last one, so keep an eye out for that. It's probably starting about noonish, midday. Uh, and that's all from me. I'm off to go and eat a big bowl of Minecraft Creeper Crunch breakfast cereal. That's right, Minecraft is a cereal now. I have no idea what this tastes like, but if they didn't put Pop Rocks in the Creeper bits, then they missed a fucking trick. Tira.